Hello there, everyone. The Andrade here, and welcome back to episode 12 of our All the Mod 7 Let's Play series, uh, where today I'm extremely concerned for that cow up there, if you can see it. He's, uh, well, yeah, uh, he's in a precarious position. Uh, but as you can tell, we are adventuring today, so let's get started. I'm gonna go save that cow. So just doing a little bit of, uh, you know, base maintenance here, uh, working with our mine colonies guys and getting them all set up. Um, I, uh, Lainey's doing a great job here with her mining and everything. I've taken her ores, brought them back to our base, but apparently she had gotten a bunch more. She must have had a bunch in her inventory uh, since the last time I did this, which is not terribly too long ago. I'm going to give her these stairs and slabs just so that she has them available to her. So what it is, is, the way that she works is she is currently digging downward. She's creating her shaft, right? So she's making a shaft. And as you can see, if we come down here, we're going to say this is mine level zero, Y level 52. And if we come down to the next level, it is, you know, mine level one, Y level 48. And she's going to dig down until she creates the, the requisite level of shaft that is set for her at this level. Um, the level for her mine, that is, which is level one. And I don't think that this UI tells you how far down she will go. Um, but if you go into here, you can look at levels and you can see she is currently at level two. Um, and maybe that's as high as she'll end up going. Not entirely sure. Yes, look, that is. So this is as far down as she is going to dig. So she is now going to start working on her nodes, which is her branch mining, it looks like. Um, yes, and look, she has started. So she's going to start branch mining in this direction and then start clearing out a three by three going forward. She probably needs a pickaxe or pickaxe probably broke. Um, but that's a uh, that's and she'll start mining off of that and then she'll start branching off of that going down all over the place and doing her thing. What do you need? Yes, a pickaxe. That's what I thought. Um, I have pickaxes. Do we have cobblestone i know there was cobblestone in here yes so let's give her a bunch of pickaxes because she can only use um stone so you know she's 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 very limited on her capabilities at the moment so we're just going to go ahead and inventory and add all of these pickaxes to this and then she should be good to go and she'll go down take some pickaxes and go mine bring all that stuff up and we are going to start now it's going to start ramping up the production of all of this uh, stuff even more. So I'm actually going to take most of this stuff. Look at all that andesite. I like getting that andesite. Um, and I'm going to throw like the this this assuring and some of this cobblestone can go away. I'm kind of just trying to clear inventory uh, for now, and then you know we'll go later whenever we need to use the stuff. We'll have it, whatever. Um, so she's doing great. Our uh, restaurant has finished. However, we do not have a worker for the restaurant as of yet because we have no more room in our village. Um, my next step is going to be to start upgrading some of these houses so we can get more villagers in for housing. Um, so that's going to be what we're going to have Luca work on next. And then after that, we're going to get a, uh, a fisher's hut and a forester's hut. And the forester's hut will take care of our um, situation with our trees too but i'm still going to work on setting up the water wheels uh speaking of i did go in the configs for mine colony and unfortunately i looked on the github and everything and the way that the mine colony developers have it is that they only you know if if you don't work with the way that they have things set up it's your problem not their problem essentially as a mod developer and so if Things like um, the modular routers don't set the fake player, the UUID um, properly or the way that Mine Colonies expects it, it won't allow it. And they don't. So, and they're not going to change. Mine Colonies not going to change. It's the unfortunate side of sometimes mod development. You know, people want to do things a certain way, and that's the way, and that's fine. It's their prerogative. Anyway, so what I had to do was go in and actually disable um, the, the, the zone protection in... Um, in the mod uh so there's no in mine colonies all of these chunks it claims the chunks but there's no protection no chunk protection or anything like that um i do not know why my name is popping up look at all those the andradas on the map every time i do this look we're getting a new one that's gonna drive me nuts i don't know why why am i doing this let's try and move them off the map nope oh i can i erased one. Oh, i erased that one haha -ha. and then there we go okay cool um Anyway, so, yeah, I had to remove that, and then I chunk-loaded all of the, the well, not chunk-loaded, but I claimed all the chunks with FTB chunks, so they're, they're protected via FTB chunks, not um, 
mine colony chunks. And I still only have the ones by my base loaded. I just have these ones claimed. I don't, what is this? I, I don't know what that is. Did I make that? I don't, I don't know what it is. I'm going to claim load it anyway. Um, anyway, so what I want to do is come over here and we need to hire a worker for our restaurant. Now, unfortunately we don't have any workers available because our, um, village is full. However, we do have a, um, we do have a guard that's kind of not doing anything. So I need to go and fire Sherry from her guard job over here and let her do something else, which is going to be the cook. So we're going to pop over here. We're going to come and tell Sherry Lynn, Hey, I'm sorry. You're not a guard anymore. Uh, you are going to be a, uh, manage workers. You're fired. Sorry, Sherry, you're fired. And then we're going to come back over here to the cook and then go hire her as a cook. Um, and then we need to get food put into here, which is going to be just some meat and stuff. And she'll be able to cook all that up. And the villagers can come over here as they desire, come eat and get some foods and stuff for themselves. So it is you. We are going to manage workers. And Sherry Lynn is now hired. Recall her. Now she's here. And we just need to get some meat and stuff inside of here so they can cook. Um, yeah. Also, I set Bo to actually guard the mine so that he goes down there with, uh, I cannot remember, Lainey. He'll go down there with Lainey, so as she's digging, if she runs into any hostile mobs, he'll be there to fight for her, which is what this uh, immutable block positioning thing is, because I was trying to figure out exactly how to do that. Um, and I will show you guys what I did there. Uh, oak logs, oak logs, just trying to clean up a little bit of inventory. You are in the wrong spot. You go here. And look, you can see I already have a bunch of this stuff from when I cleaned this last time. So we need to start working on getting all that processed. I'll keep a stack of you. And look at all this andesite. I like seeing that andesite because it's uh, silk touch, I guess. I don't know if silk touch is required for andesite, but since it is, since, you know, she silk touches her ores, uh, we're getting a bunch of it. And I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. Uh, we needed food, which is mob drops. We'll take all this chicken. And then while we're here, uh, we have bread. And actually, I have bread in my inventory, too. So we'll keep the bread there, and then I can eat the bread as needed. Uh, but today, I want to go adventuring. I want to get our village taken care of and situated. And I want to go hunt around and try and find a regular Minecraft village. Um, and the reason for that is that I need to start, I need to get carrots. I need to get um, watermelon so I can get this feeding upgrade. We need to start getting some other crops and stuff. Um, I did not have enough time to go to sleep. Okay, I forgot about that aspect. Uh, if you s sleep too soon before all the villagers go to bed, they get tired and then they get angry because you're not letting them sleep because you sleep the night away. Uh, so don't do not do that. Oh, she needs coal too. I'll have to come back here. Um, skip the chit chat. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Get to work though. Um, but yeah, anyway, and I also need to build like, I'm going to connect this uh, pathing here. I guess there's the there's the path. We need to we need to work on pathing. I know there is pathing within um, uh, mine colonies too. We could have Luca do some some pathing for us and connect things up, which would be nice to have, so that the villagers know where they're supposed to go. What do you want here, Lainey? Now, eh? oak fence, thirty two oak fence. Well, I think I'm pretty sure I'm out of oak, so you're gonna be on hold. Anyway, so what I like I said, what I want to do is go ahead and go adventuring. We need to find a village. Um, I have a little bit of oak logs, but we'll deal with Lainey later. I'm not going to be too concerned about it. I do want to get the food aspect taken care of. Where is my charcoal? We'll take that. So we're going to go give this to uh, Sherry Lynn as a cook, and then we'll go adventuring. I'm not going to make you watch me run all the way over there again, so we'll be... All right, we're back over here with Sherry Lynn, uh, and I'm putting some tiny charcoal into here for her to cook with because if we look inside of here and we look at our fuels, we can look at charcoal, and tiny charcoal is an option. I like that because it means that she's not going to waste charcoal as she cooks and stands on the counters. This is not sanitary, Sherry, by the way. Uh, I'm just going to point that out. You don't stand on your counter in your prep area. I, I'm not going to eat at this restaurant, by the way. Uh, I'll continue just eating my, my cooked steak, you know? Mm, yeah, yummy. Um, anyway, so this mob uh, torch or the mega torch should be able to cover her uh, and we'll be good to go there. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go exploring. So I have um, explored mostly, 
Um, mostly to the south. There's something, something villagey looking over here, but I, it, I've most likely been there. I would imagine if it's if it's been discovered, it, it means I've probably been there. So I've explored most of the east. So we kind of sort of just need to keep. I'm sorry, most of the west. So we kind of just need to keep heading east and seeing what we can find in this direction. So let's go. Um, which is past our ship and everything. So we're just gonna keep going this way. Now is, what options do we have? Is Tinkers in the pack? No, we do not have Tinkers. I'm trying to see like what options do we have for faster modes of travel? Um, the Ars Nouveau Summon Steed. Maybe we should do that before we go. What do you cost though? Just some leather and some magic clay. Let's, let's get Summon Steed going. How about Summon Wolves too? You are a Wilden Horn, so I don't think I've gotten any of those because I haven't killed any of those Wilden, but that would be kind of nice uh, at some point to have too. Let's let's check out these R's glyphs and see what we can make. Um, I have my magic clay here. We needed a piece of leather for one of them. The Conjure Mage Block is just glass, so we'll grab a piece of glass. And item pickup is a hopper, and we can make that happen too. So let's get these, because remember, the more more glyphs that we know, as it gives us more mana as well. So always good to have, especially if we're going to go adventuring, we're going to want, you know, a decent amount of mana for us. Um, and there's also, isn't there, there's the uh, at tier, or I'm sorry, at, at ours tier one, tier one. There is the glyph of launch. Um, there's a glyph of speed. Maybe we'll do that. Does that that gives us speed one? Uh, there's also a glyph of launch uh, that requires a rabbit hide. That does that that literally launches you. Um, however, we don't have any like slow fall or anything. There's also a glyph of leap. Eventually, we can get something to make it so that we can get like a uh, a pseudo flight. Cut harm interact. Interesting. Glyph of Interact. Uh, so we can, we, we won't be able to, oh no, we'll get the Glyph of Speed, Mage Block, Item Pickup. So let's grab ourselves a Minecart and then we can go down there. Uh, and then Minecart recipe is just iron, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. There's a Minecart. Okay, cool. And we have just enough of our magical clay to be able to do this. So I like it. So we're gonna pop over here and we're gonna we're gonna stack up on ours stuff so that we can, you know, go adventure a little bit easier. The speed is the one that I'm kind of kind of sort of liking the most at the moment, or, or the idea of the speed at least. So let's do you and you. And you have uh you're hundred percent full. Still? Even after this craft? All right, I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain. And then glass, 90% full. There must have been like a little internal buffer or something. So we're going to learn Summon Steed. And then we'll learn Conjure Mage Block. Throw our hopper down. This is item pickup. Let's clear these out a little bit. Uh, I don't necessarily want the dirt on me, though, so we'll get rid of it. And then Speed. Yeah, and there we go. Let's do this and this. Bam and bam. And then we can uh, grab our spell book and modify. So what do we have here? First off, so this is our break. This is our harm. This is our mage light. So we're going to do um, touch. We're going to do conjure mage block. Mage block. We'll do uh, self summon steed. Cannot be cast. OK. So summon steed. This is going to summon a horse, but it will disappear over time. So we just got to keep that in mind. Uh, and then there is um, speed. So then self speed. And amplify, 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 amplify. Speed. And then so the, the horse one, the... AOE increases the amount, extend time, increases duration, and applies summoning sickness. Was there anything else that we had? Uh, item pickup. I'm going to put that on our break so that the item gets picked up. It'll break it. Item picked up. So it just goes straight into our inventory. And we don't have to worry about it. So that one is pretty cool. So now if I projectile break like uh, 
this leaf, it, well, wait, duh, no silk touch. If I projectile break this grass block, shows up right in our inventory. And remember, we do have a magnet, but it only goes out five blocks, so we don't have, you know, too crazy work with that. Um, let's check out what these mage blocks look like. Uh, so that is you. Well, that's pretty cool. Now, do these disappear over time? Let's go to mage block. A temporary block that will disappear after a short time. Amplify causes it to be permanent. Oh, so we have building blocks that could be permanent building blocks, and it disappeared. That's pretty cool. I like that mod, or that block. Um, and then speed gives us speed five. Pew, and then we go into the water, so we lose all of it, but that's okay. It affects us a little bit. We got 30 seconds of speed five. This is actually probably going to be faster than the horse uh, once we get out of the water. Unfortunately, we do have a lot of water around here. Now, wasn't there a, no, I was going to say, wasn't there a glyph of like extend? Like maybe I can make a bridge potentially. I'm not sure. Oh yeah. I like this. This is going to make exploring really nice. Uh, the only other thing I wish I had was like step up, but, but by the time this wears off, our mana definitely comes back. So we're good to go there. I don't like these, uh, these oak bushes without step up because I keep having to jump and then I miss. And it's time to sleep. Okay, but I like this. Uh, so we have much faster travel capabilities now, which is great. And I remember, the more we learn, the more mana we have, which is also vital to, you know, really. Vital to exploration. Uh, so let's do break. Get me out of here. And then back to, uh, let's let's check out Summon Steed. So if we get on a horse, bam. And I remember the horse ha horses have step up. Can you use a horse with speed, I wonder? Is that the same? Like, is that doable? Can, is a horse affected by speed? I'm trying to find the, sh the, the, the shortest path across this water because the horse is definitely going to slow down. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at all the, the, the speed that we have. Yeah, you don't like the water. It's okay. Well, uh, we'll summon another one when we get over here. There we go. New horse. Thank you. Hop on and yeah. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, horse. Full speed ahead. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, have we been to this area before? Is this a village? Oh, we have reached our goal. We found a village. Look at that. Look at you, nice steed. You you did what I wanted you to. You 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 brought us here, and I knew that that was looking like a village. Wow, that is a nice. Oh my, look at that cave. That's a that's a nice looking cave for this village. There's some kind of there's some kind of structure down here. Is this a mine shaft? No, there's there's. There's a mine, there's a furnace down there and everything. Uh, but cool, horsey, you can go, do what you gotta do. You're free, I will summon you again later as needed. You're trapped, that's cool. You have no loot in your house though, so you know what, whatever. This is a big village too, if you look at it on the map. that's a It's a pretty darn large village that we got going on here. Blast furnace, I'm gonna take that. Only because they're kind of a pain to make sometimes. Especially early game, you know, the iron costs. What I'm looking for is farming stuff, of course, because I need carrots. And sure, we'll take a smithing table. I forgot I don't got to pick anything up. And I also can break at a distance. What is this house going to be? Isn't this one of those? Uh, yeah, this is where my mine is, isn't it? There is trapped something here. Yeah, let's break you. There is an observer here. And a dispenser with TNT. Just to uh, <laughs> make sure nothing blows up on us. And we'll take the redstone. Only because I, I only know that because we have one of these right by our house. So uh, we'll take that. We'll take that. We're also going to take all this string. If I didn't fall. But yeah, we'll take all the string with us too. Because you know how we are with string. Do not go that way. I'm glad I saw that. <laughs> that could have been a disaster. Hello, meeting of the meeting of the minds here. 
All right, let's see. What else does this village have for us? Like I said, it's a pretty darn large village. Look at that. That's a cool looking cave. That's a interesting overhang on this mountain as well. Hmm. So far, no good loot in this village, though. I'm, I'm counting on y'all to give me something good. Uh, this is pretty good. A waystone. I kind of want to leave it there, though, in case I ever want to come back. I probably should activate it, though. There we go. This is this is Zed's Zedslammerer village. Zed Slammerer. There we go. Okay. One more. This is gonna have nothing in it as well. Look, there's another little cave going on. Is this a uh, immersive engineering house? I believe that that is the case. Yes, wooden storage crate, blueprints, treated sticks. We'll take those copper ingots. Maybe hey, maybe you might have some bronze lying around. What do you know? You never know. Engineer's workbench. You're kind of a pain to make. We'll take you. Um, a lantern. Nothing, nothing exciting upstairs. Okay. Just gotta remember not to right click on things when I have my spell book out and break because I will I'll, I'll be taking the door with me. Sorry, your door now belongs to me. Hello, Iron Golem. I am not gonna harm you. The church, unfortunately, was destroyed by our meteorite, which is kind of is that ironic? Is that are these villagers sinners and God threw a meteorite at them because they? I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not a philosophy major. Or I wasn't a philosophy major. I haven't been in school for quite a while. Get out of the way. I'm trying to rob you. Hey, somebody to rob. Uh, a sturdy bee cage. Sure, we haven't gotten into the bee mod yet, but we'll take it and we'll take the food. Dandelions. I said we'll take the food and I left the one piece of actual cooked food alone. No farm so far, though. Like, no farming villagers with, you know crops out here and remember what i was looking for was watermelon and um uh what's that other thing watermelon and carrots and none so far so we'll see what happens if we can get lucky our backpack's already pretty full maybe should have upgraded it to the gold level we do have a bunch of gold but i think that's looks like pretty much it for this village um i do want to take all of this hay with me that's a lot of bread and not the money kind. I don't think I've been to this immersive guy's house yet, have I? No. Uh, nickel nuggets. Not bronze, which is what I'm looking for. Cold Coke. Cool. Yeah, but no no crops. So our our adventuring does not end here. We need to look for another village. Um, and none of these guys have jobs, unfortunately. So I can't like uh, trade with them anything, really. Is there a gate into this? There is a door. This is a perfect place for my mage block. Bam, check that out. And there we go. Hello, horse. Just checking for loot. Any hidden loot in here? Taking all your food, though. Sorry, guys. You can no longer eat. And let's run across before those break. Nice. Nice. What is this green block now? It's got to be similar to the, the assuring that we get from the other thing. I really want to know, like, what that is but if i go down there getting back up i mean i do have the the mage block thing so it's not going to be the worst other than the fall damage oh there's loot oh man man oh man why well, you gotta have loot there's gonna be enemies in here there's gonna be all kinds of mobs now granted i could let's not do that i could light this up with projectile mage lights and that would help out with any mobs that potentially spawn it is confirmed that these don't have range which is good Ugh, my first off 
how am I going to get down there without dying? If I jump, I'm dead. Yeah, I don't really have a way down there. You know what? Uh, we have this village on our map. That treasure will just have to wait. But we can come back to it at any point in time. Because we have a waystone. Oh, the... Uh, oh, goodness gracious. And then back to mage block. My shield was messing me up. You can't hold the button if you have a shield. I don't know if you could hold the button if you don't have a shield, but you definitely can't if you do. Uh, we have something orange on our map over this way. I want to see what that kind of is. Like, you guys see it right there on the map? There's like just this orange. Ah, pumpkins. I mean, it's not melons, but pumpkins may come in handy at some point in the future. I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, not grab stuff just because it's not what we're using now. No, I did not mean to grab all that stuff, though. Lavender everywhere, and you guys know how I'm feeling with all this lavender now. Uh, that's enough pumpkins. We got 10 pumpkins. We can grow more as needed. Uh, but yeah, let's grab our um, book. Not the right button. And let's do let's do our speed, and then we'll just run. But we're going to look for another village, because we or unless we run across any carrots or something, because, well, we didn't find any. I have a feeling we're like we're on a, we're coming up on a beach here. I don't want us to be at the end of the world. Um, what are you? Oh, you're a donkey. But yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and oh, don't fall into the cave. I'm going to go ahead and do some more exploration, see what we come across. If I run into anything interesting, I'll let y'all know. Be back. And you know what? I lied. It's about wrapping up points. So we're going to end the episode here. Next episode, we'll come and do a bit more exploration. Uh, let me sleep through this night so we can outro. And we got this nice, look at that cave. I like this, like, hole in the mountain. It's like uh, the, the, oh, in Iceland. Uh, there is a, yeah, out in the ocean in Iceland on your way to Vík, or maybe it's even past Vík, uh, there is uh, Drohalehi, I think it is. I'm probably butchering the heck out of that. But it's like this, but out in the ocean. So there's a, that giant, like, you know, cave, but it's like a, you know, thing just like this. Looks really awesome. Anyway, uh, that's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it, and it really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.